Hello guys, in this video I want to show you my best Sark ever. But in this Sark I Sark two my pieces. First move I play g4. But best move in this position is rook a5. Also I can chop the pawn and after chop the queen. But I played g4. Now he must chop my pawn. And in this position I can chop or by pawn or by knight, but I chopped by knight. In this position he cannot play this move because I'll do it in the same moves. You can watch it in Stockfish. So he must chop my knight. But in this position I can chop the bishop by pawn, by rook, play this move, but the best move it is play queen to g2. I play this move, I don't chop his bishop. And he cannot play by bishop anymore because I'll play this move and do mate on g5. So in this position he played queen to c8 to defend his bishop. In this position the best move is to chop his bishop, but in this position after this move I think what it will be hard to win. Because of equal material and without attack. So I played very strange move king to h2. At the first view with no idea, but you'll see. He promoted his pawn with blunder. I played rook to c1, second sacrifice in this game. Now I attack his queen and if he chopped right rook, I'll chop his bishop and, and I'll do mate. Let's see. In this position, if he'll do check on d2, I'll go up and in this position he cannot go to this diagonal to do check. In this position I can do mate in one or two. So in this position he played a very bad move and after that I do mate. But you'll say why in this position you played this move? Maybe the best it's to play Rook to c1. No. But he'll chop my rook. And after this move, he'll play rook to c8. And in this position, I'll chop his bishop, he'll do check, I'll go up, and he'll do mate. As you see, I can do mate, but he did it faster. If you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe. Goodbye.